So I should have posted this a long time ago, but hopefully by the end of the video, you'll understand my hesitation. I've been a teacher for seven years, and I've loved most of every second of it. Yeah, the grading is annoying, the pay is low, the classes are overfilled, but I love having seeing the students learn, grow, and make those connections, those having those aha moments. And I used to think that being a teacher was pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. Teach kids how to read, teach kids how to write, teach kids history, have students question authority, narratives, and paradoxes, and let the students connect the dots on their own. Let the students come to their own conclusions about things. At the very minimum, my job is to teach students that history is very, very complicated because people are very, very complicated. But what's happening nowadays is that there's a push to indoctrinate kids. There's a push to sexualize children, and there's a push to separate kids from families, to, to either directly or indirectly sever those ties, have kids dislike their parents, dislike their family, and have parental power be transferred from the parents to some sort of state authority. Teachers, school districts, principals, superintendents, uh, state congress people, CPS, whatever you want to call it. And as a teacher, I can't agree to that. I can't say yes to that. I'm not going to be used as an agent to confuse kids because that's literally the opposite of what teachers are supposed to do. We're not supposed to confuse kids. And that's what's happening. But this speaks to something greater, I think. The United States is falling apart. I don't know how I feel about teaching the history of a dying empire and not standing up and doing something more to stop it. It feels like I'm stuck within those four walls fighting back this oppressive wave that's sweeping over the country of depression, of pessimism, of despair, nihilism, fatalism, Gnosticism. To be an American, you're supposed to be rebellious. You're supposed to fight against tyranny. You're supposed to look at people with more power than you and say, no, like, I have the ability to live my life. If I can sum up the United States in one sentence, of course, ideally, would be you have a right to not have the boot of government stomp on your face. And if the gov if if we have parts of our government in the United States that are that are in, that insist on stomping on people's faces, then it's up to the people to stand up to it. And that's what I'm doing right here. More importantly, I don't know if I'll be able to live with myself if I don't tell my student. More and most importantly, I've taught my students reject tyranny. That's basically it. What kind of a hypocrite would I be if I don't reject tyranny now? What kind of a hypocrite would I be if I just keep my head down and protect this? Let's be honest mediocre ass paycheck that teachers get what's the point if everything's going to fall apart around you so i guess here goes the united states is special and i've taken that fact for granted for over 30 years i've never had to deal with anything my parents dealt with when they were younger i never had to deal with political terrorism political killings black vans coming in the street to take you I never had to wonder whether I'm going to eat that day. More importantly, I wouldn't exist if this country wasn't here. I'm a product of two people, of two individuals coming from two different countries because of the tyrannies in their countries. They found each other, they found love with each other, and then they produced me. This is true for millions and millions of Americans. So if my life was partly forged by the existence of the United States, how hypocritical would it be if I didn't defend it with that very life it gave me? It's not just our right, it's our duty and responsibility for ourselves in the future to call out any tyranny, propaganda, corruption, or BS that we see. So, I'm not going to teach what the corporations want me to teach. I'm not going to engage in critical theory of any kind. I'm not going to deconstruct the United States and compare it to a world that doesn't exist. I'm not going to replace the United States flag with any other flag, pride or otherwise. I'm not going to be forced or compelled to use the pronouns of your choice 
or to be used to facilitate your delusions of grandeur. I reserve the right to question anything and everything. I will teach the good, the bad, the beautiful, and the ugly. Reality is real. Boys are boys. Girls are girls. And we don't make the rules in society off of the 1% or the exceptions. I reject DEI, ESG, and other sinister acronyms. I am not a citizen of the world. I don't want to re-engineer, re-imagine, or re-envision our society. I don't want a grand restructuring or a great reset. I am a citizen of the United States of America, which is governed by the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. How have we gotten to the point where if you're someone who supports freedom of speech, religion, press, petition, and assembly, you're viewed as a Nazi? Why are we in the process of creating a two-tiered society that's based off your political beliefs? Why are we weaponizing everything against our perceived enemies? Why are we trying to trigger our opposition into acting in ways unbecoming of themselves? Why are we tearing ourselves apart? I don't know, but all I know is that I just made myself unmarketable as a teacher with what I just said. I hope that now you understand my hesitation in what I wanted to say. So moving on forward, I'm going to update at least once a day, preferably two or three times a day. The topics I'm going to engage with are pretty much anything that pops into my head, which, well, if you've been a student of mine, that can be literally be anything. I just find it really funny. In this, United, in this new United States that we live, you know, this diverse America that we're trying to achieve, why is it that we only care about diversity that goes skin deep, ethnicity, skin color? Why don't we care about the most important facet of diversity, having a diverse opinion. And most importantly, why are we targeting with punishment and derision those people who like the United States, who are appreciative of the ideals of this country, and we know it's flawed, but we want to make it a better place using the ideals in our first and second founding. Why is that a diverse opinion that must be struck down? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, yeah, I forgot the most important part. My name is Angel San Martin, and I'm from South Florida, and I approve this message.